How would you like to not only feel be look better, but feel better as well? Our guest today is a person who, when not on camera, does just that. She takes her inner beauty and brings it out for the world to see. As an aspiring model makeup, makeup artist, she practices every day towards her goal. Working at Sephora, she helps her clients be the best that they can be, constantly working with them and educating them on the proper application techniques. Here to share with us why makeup is more important than you may think, we would like to be, for you to meet our guest today, Genesis Fernandez. you to television's future, future writers, directors, and personalities. And now join our host, Sean Allen, to meet the new next director. Thank you for joining us for today's edition of the new directors. All the people involved with this program are students in the television production course and are directing, switching, controlling audio, operating cameras, and acting as talent for the first time today. The guests you are about to meet are students who, when not on camera, are behind the scenes working hard to bring this program to you with as few mistakes as possible. Each student will write and direct four different productions. This program will give them the chance to talk about themselves and the productions they have completed to, and give you the chance to get to know them and watch their progress throughout the semester. Our guest today is a person who professionally applies makeup and loves to inspire others to, to be passionate about it as well. Now I'd like you to meet our guest today, Genesis Fernandez. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about how you became involved with beauty and what it means to you? Sure. It probably came from when I was a little girl and I was always fascinated in watching women apply their makeup. It transformed a person and that fact amazes me and it still does to this day. I remember always receiving play makeup, the kind that little girls used to get and cheap materials and non-pigmented shadows like That's from awesome. Claire's and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I would practice every day putting it on. I would be so obsessed with get, getting everything just perfect. I even get, used to get scolded by my mother because I would be applying it all the time, constantly. <laughs> <laughs> my passion evolved as soon as technology flourished also. It has allowed me to flourish my knowledge and my techniques to this day. Instead of watching what other little girls used to watch on TV, I would always be watching YouTube videos and expanding my knowledge. I've seen a countless numbers of tutorials and reviews. Most of what I know today is knowledge that I acquired from YouTube. Gurus are also a big part of my love for makeup. They always mm -hmm. um, inspire me. They, they teach me what I know now. Awesome. And I've actually met a couple of them. Well, that's and exciting. One comes to Sephora and I was like, yay. When I finally met him, I was like shell-shocked. I also want you to know that makeup is more important than the way you look. I really believe this because it completely transforms a person in the way they act, speak, and importantly, the way they feel. I remember after Hurricane Sandy, so many women were in despair and some of them were homeless and could not work. Some of them just lost their homes while others lost their belongings. We made them feel like themselves again and all of my cast members did the best they could to make them feel really special. We applied makeup, listened to their incredible stories, and helped them heal. That's awesome. Thank you. Could you tell us why you decided to take the TV's produ TV production course? I was er always curious about what went into TV producing and how they always managed to make things appear how they did. All the money I went to before I became obsessed with makeup went into buying movies. Taking this cor course would teach me how my favorite superheroes came to life how the nightly news was brought to me, and how the charmed ones were able to defeat their demons every single time. That's awesome. <laughs> what are some of the most useful things you have learned in this production course? <clears throat> I think that some of the most important things I've learned in this course are rack and shift focus, which basically means makes the overall scenes look more professional. Shift focus can be done a several ways. One is changing the depth of field, and the other is changing your focal length. Um, we learned the importance of making clean en entrances and exits. Most importantly, how to achieve these while you're doing that, while you're shooting. Other things we learned are changing the camera angle and, ch and image size will create a better cut on the action. We learned the importance of the rule of thirds, which creates a more interesting photo. Awesome. Could you tell us about the 
the productions you created in this class, um, the learning project, the action sequence, the fall foliage project, and the orange project? Sure. First, we have our orange project, which was my favorite to shoot, partly because I got to work with such funny actors, which make it a more interesting piece of work for the audience to look at. Also, getting to use my knowledge of all the previously acquired projects that I've done. We did the rule of thirds, shift focus, close-ups, and all of those helped me bring my story to fruition. We can watch and laugh together. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Now we have um, Student Takes Notes, which was a difficult project because there were so many scenes we had to shoot. And it was really intensive. We had to do close-ups, over-the-shoulder shots, clean entrances, and all of those allowed us to use our skills. That's awesome. Looks good. Thank you. Thank you, Tyler. In our New England fall project, we were really able to utilize interesting tools to interest the viewer. Camera pans and zoom in or out were also allowed, which allowed for greater creative freedom. Nice little lake and waterfalls. That's awesome. Looks really good. I like it. Simplicity. <laughs> <clears throat> In the learning sequence, I had to make the entire scene very fluid, fluid and not have any jump cuts. In order to do this, I had to shoot the scene from many different angles and change the image size also. It allowed me to cut on the action and allowing me to complete the scenes without any inconsistencies. We had to shoot this several times to get the headphones correctly on his head. Awesome. Well, now I know you had one project that you felt was your best. Could you tell us about it while we watch a sample of the video with audio and that you selected? Sure. My favorite was the fall project. It was really hard to shoot, and it actually took me several different days to actually get it complete. Um, I had to use lines of uh, rule of thirds, lines of grace, emotional lines, and like converging lines, which was my favorite to shoot because it just made everything really cool and framing was really cool. There was a seat, my favorite scene is like the one between the trees right there on the screen. <laughs> it's awesome. awesome. It's really good. Yeah. And we had like lines of joy like emanating from the leaf, the center of the leaf. Awesome. What is that, what is that thing that you just did there? That is actually a poor man's dissolve. It's uh, something that classic filmmakers used to use when they didn't have the fancy editing tools that we do nowadays. Exciting. Thank you. I like that sign. Keep beautiful, yes, and that's actually a shift focus right there. Okay. Awesome. You mentioned a couple of things that you have learned in this course. What was the most, in most interesting and important skill you have learned, and how can you put it to use? <laughs> the rule of thirds and finding lines in nature and basically like the composition of the photo I feel like that's the most important because it separates you from any other filmmaker out there um, it doesn't look like you just went to Best Buy and bought a camera basically awesome. that's my favorite editing techniques are also <laughs> a fun aspect because that we're gonna carry with us forever awesome Today we got to meet a person who shared with us the passion that she does in her daily life. I would like you to meet our guest, Genesis Fernandez. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed meeting one of television's future directors, and we hope you will continue to join us each week to watch our progress. Thank you, and good day. This has been The New Directors with your host, Sean Allen, directed by Adrian Brock. I'm your announcer, Jeff Edelstein. This has been The New Directors is a Norwalk Community College student production.